G'day my YouTube friends, how's everyone going? My name's Caroline and this is a bonus video. So this is not necessarily bonus income, <laughs> it's more a reallocation of funds. So if you watched my Monday video, my cash stuffing, I ended talking about, you know, how I'm going to upload a video this week that's going to prove to you how my mindset's changed <laughs> uh, in terms of spending. And so basically what's happened, if you're new here, a couple of months ago for the last six months I've been saving up for a Dyson Airwave uh, which is like a hair dryer curler kind of all in one and I saved up $800 because that's what they retailed for here in Australia $7.99 and I saved up for it and then I was gonna buy it but then I heard that they're gonna release a, ne a newer model uh, and I had to wait like a month so I waited and I sat on the money and I just waited and then yeah it's finally dropped but the thing is a hundred dollars dearer for exactly the same thing and so now instead of an $800 product which I thought was already high <laughs> is now $900 and I just I don't know if I want to spend that kind of money on a hair product um, you know like if it it was something I was going to use every day I would totally probably consider spending that kind of money on something that's going to help my daily routine uh, but this is something that I planned on using like when I went out and just kind of done my hair up or whatever you know wanted to do like a nice curl to my hair or I don't know I'm not dissing Dyson's products at all I love their vacuums I recommend you know them if you can afford the thousand dollars that they cost but I just can't justify spending that on something that I'm not going to use daily so instead I'm going to reallocate those funds so but this is what's great about this system is because you know I saved up this this money and this is the difference before in the past I would have just bought the thing put it on my credit card and not even thought about it I would have just bought it and asked questions later <laughs> paid with the consequences later uh, and so now I saved up for it and then I even waited and I really thought, do I want this thing? So this is what I mean about this cash stuffing system. It really changes your mindset. It makes you question every dollar you spend. Well, it, this is my journey. This is my experience. I can't say this is what happens for everyone. Uh, but when I tend to say this in the comments, people seem to say the same thing that, you know, it makes you turn, it turns you into a bit like of a stingy, you know, you don't want to spend your money unless you have to. And that's what's great because this was my issue. I never had debt. I never built it racked up debt thankfully but what I did is I spent every last cent and I didn't care and I didn't worry and and then when bills had needed to be paid I just put it on the credit card and then you know paid that off with my whole next paycheck as opposed to just budgeting out for it so so I'm not turning this into a full-on preachy video uh, this is 800 bucks. I don't know what I'm exactly going to do with it. I have a couple of little like ID plans, but so I'm just going to wing this video. I think, I hope you guys agree with me. I just think that 800 bucks right now is better off sitting in some funds. And if I really, really want this thing again in six months time, I'll just save for it. I've got a savings challenge. I can do it. <laughs> I've done it once. I can do it again. So this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this money away into here. Okay. So let's Let's just wing it. I'm not, I don't even have my tray out. I'm just going to put that there like that and hopefully you guys can see it. And so what I was thinking, again, winging this, okay? So I'm, I'm thinking splurge savings travel out of this binder. So let's go splurge. And I think I'm only going to put $100 because I prefer, I've got a lot of money in here. So I'm going to put $100 into splurge. Today's the 19th of the 8th, so 100 bucks, which will put me back up at 400 bucks. So 152, 53, 54. Oh, look at that. All right. Savings. I was thinking I might put 200 in savings. So one, two, yeah, two. I might actually, I was going to put three, but no, no, I'm going to put two. So 200 in savings. Which will put me at 10,900. Do I want to put another 100 in? 
no i won't because i prefer to put more money into my travel so ten thousand one two three four five fifty six fifty seven fifty eight fifty nine and i'm sorry if that's annoyed someone out there watching but what i'm going to do I've, this month is actually a five week you know pay check for me so uh, i'll be able to definitely get that too believe it or not i can't believe i'm going to say this eleven thousand by the end of the month that's just insane but then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, 200 in here. What's left actually? 200. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll have 300 to go back into savings challenges. So we'll put these where the hundreds are. So 200 will go in there, which is insane. So let's go the 19th of the 8th, 200 bucks. And that's going to have $9,300. So then we are close to getting a 10,000 in this. So there's 8,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 9,000, 51, 52, 53. It's crazy. And again, I could have easily just snuck off and said, yeah, guys, I bought that and spent this money. But what's the point in that? If, if this is why I do these videos, this is to help keep me accountable, accountable, sorry, and this helps keep me doing this legit, you know, and I want to, I want to show you guys that, you know, someone like me who used to spend every last cent can do this, and if you're in a similar type where you do the same thing, you can do this too, you know, so... All right, so I have $300 left, and what I plan on doing is putting $100 towards the challenge box. So that means I have $200 left to put towards something in here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll put $100 towards the Apple Store, and maybe, maybe $100 towards the Miles, or maybe $50, $50. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go $100. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put both hundreds in here and I'm going to take back out 50, uh, 100, sorry. I hope you understood what I just did then. So I've put 200, but I've taken 100 in two fifties. So I still have the $100 to stuff elsewhere, but it's just split up into two fifties. Gosh, I hope I haven't confused you. So I'm so sorry. So we have $100 to color in. So there's 30, 30, uh, that's 60. And then let's go two twenties, I guess. 80 and 100. Alright. So we've got 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 54, 55. Let's just skip that. 55, 20, 40, 60, 86, 650, 670, 697. All right, so we've got 1700 now, so we only have $300 to go. And I should definitely be able to do that by the time September comes because I tend to put $50 a week at least into this. So that's six weeks. So that should be more than enough because then September will be here and I'll have the money good to go. Then I'm going to go to the $3,000 challenge and I'm going to put one of these 50s in. Oh, this feels so good to reallocate money. Okay, so 30 and 20. And that's 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 55, 20, 40, 60, 80. Oh, this feels so good. All right, and then last, we're going to go to the milestone. And I'll put $50 in here. Yes, there we go. All right. So we'll colour in a $50 icon. So here I was talking a couple of weeks about, about colouring in a couple of, colouring out a couple of these and putting them in, but I don't think I'm going to need to do that. So 1, 2, 53, 20, 40, 60, 84, 10, 20, 30, 35. So we are almost now halfway through doing this. All right, so that is the savings challenges. And I feel really good about topping some of them up with that money. And then lastly, I want to do my challenge box. Now, because I'm winging this and I, I've got a hundred bucks, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out my calculator and this, I'll show you how I actually do this. But before I do this, I don't think I've actually Pepsi Cheers. So Pepsi Cheers, guys. All right. So I do a hundred, right? <laughs> this is how my mind needs to do this. So then let's see how many of these top ones that, because I always like to start from the top, especially with bonus money. So 44, oh, sorry, 100 minus 44. So we'll color that out. 
and then it's saying I have $56 left. So if I go minus 43, is 13 still available? Yes, okay, so I can do 43 and then I can do the 13. So that's how I do it when I'm kind of budgeting for this. <laughs> so there, look how quick that is. But at least I got to do three, uh, three uh, more envelopes. And so that's how it's looking. Really cool. I, I'm really enjoying doing this. And then how about, because this is an extra bonus and I've been doing so good, let's just do a quick little fan. I'm not gonna count it, but that's bonus money. And the coins, don't forget that weird red $2 coin. <laughs> All right, so, and then the great thing about this challenge box is like I say, I just chuck everything in there. And then look how quickly $800 just went. So I could have bought something that I didn't really probably need or, you know, I've redispersed the money. And look, I th I'm all for if you've saved up for the challenge and you've budgeted for it and you've saved up for something, you should be entitled to splurge and, in and buy things that you know you enjoy and that you know you should treat yourself of course from time to time and that's what I did for this but I just I'm choosing not to do that because I don't really want to spend $900 on something that I'm only going to use you know a handful of times so yeah I'm, I'm really glad I've made this decision and hopefully you guys have liked this video watching me restuff and comment down below if you've done something like this where you've saved up for something and you've you decided not to and you've reallocated the funds instead or if you've actually purchased the airwave and you tell me if you think i've made a bad decision and i should resave and actually buy one so let me know comment down below but until then i'll see you in my next video take care bye for now bye